Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here, and in this video, we're gonna take a look at how to download and install MAMP on Mac. Let me start off by answering the question, what does MAMP do and why do I even want it on my computer? So those are technically two questions, but uh, basically what MAMP does is uh, simulate a server environment. So it gives us access to things that we wouldn't normally have on our computer, but we would have access to on a server. So we can run PHP code. We have access to something called PHP MyAdmin, which lets us create and uh, manage databases for our website. And uh, there's a whole bunch of other cool stuff that MAMP comes with. And uh, why do you want it on your computer? Well, you're gonna need it to follow along with most of my tutorials, but you're gonna need it especially to run uh, WordPress and Joomla or any PHP code really. So go over to the MAMP website and then uh, if you wanna read a little bit more information about MAMP or the packages or uh, software that comes with MAMP, you can scroll down and there are a few quick links over here. So let's click on general and that's gonna give me some general information about MAMP. Uh, there's also some information about MySQL, PHP, uh, Python. If you've never heard of any of those things, go ahead and read up about them. But hopefully most of you guys already know what PHP is. Uh, and I'm just gonna go ahead now and hit download. And this is gonna take me through to the downloads page where I can choose my operating system, whether it be a Mac OS X or Windows. Uh, and se seeing as I'm on my Mac, let's hit download. Uh, and this is going to let me download a binary file. Uh, I already have this downloaded though, so I'm gonna hit cancel. And I think I already follow them on Twitter, so I'm just gonna close that. And uh, yeah, let's open up my downloads. And from here I can see that I've got the MAMP package downloaded. So I'm gonna double click on this and that is going to open up the install. Uh, so from here, I'm just gonna hit continue, uh, read me, okay, continue, uh, continue, make sure that you have actually read the license agreement and agree to it. Uh, destination on the computer, I'm just gonna install it on the Mac, so let's go continue. Uh, installation type, uh, we're just gonna leave it at a standard installation, so I'm not gonna change anything, let's hit install. And for security purposes, I need to put in my password. And this is gonna run for about a minute, not even. So let's just wait for this. Okay, almost done. Great, so MAMP has been successfully installed on my computer. I can go ahead and hit close. And if I go over to applications in my finder, uh, then I can see that I've got MAMP and MAMP Pro installed. So you might have to scroll down a little bit before you see them, but yeah, uh, you should find MAMP and MAMP Pro under applications. And if I uh, open up my uh, start menu, I've got MAMP over here. I don't know what this is, application menu? <laughs> uh, so yeah, start menu. Uh, go ahead and just drag and drop MAMP into my quick launch bar and I'm going to open up MAMP. Uh, so from here, uh, I can see that Apache and MySQL are two servers that I have to um, get running, but right now they're not running. So if I hit start servers, uh, these boxes should then get ticked or well filled in. And now MAMP has uh, started and we can see that we've opened up uh, something called uh, MAMP's uh, start page or web start page. So that's this page that opened up in my browser. And from here, I can see a whole bunch of information about my uh, MAMP installation. So if I click on PHP info, this will give me some information about what version of PHP I'm running. Uh, so right now I can see I'm running PHP 7 and it is on my uh, MacBook. Um, great. So we've got, uh, we know where to find some information about PHP. We also uh, might want to get some information about MySQL. So uh, here is a link to PHP MyAdmin, which we will be using in future. Uh, there is also uh, information about our host. So we are on localhost, we've got a port, and we've got a username and password. Now these are very important to remember whenever you want to try connect to a database. So yeah, my uh, username and password are root and root. 
other than that, um, I don't think there's any information I need on here right now, but in case you guys ever wanted to find this info, there it is. Uh, now I'm gonna go ahead and hit my website. Now for some reason, MAMP on Windows doesn't have this link, but if you go ahead and hit my website or if you type in localhost, comma, or colon, 8888, that should take you through to your local host uh, or your root directory on your computer. And right now my root directory is empty, so there are no files uh, on my uh, in my root directory. But let me show you guys where to find this. So uh, what you're gonna need to do is open up your finder, go to applications, go to MAMP, and then go to htdocs. And uh, this htdocs directory is called your root directory. So this is where all of your website files need to go. And uh, just to prove that if I place a website file over here, it will show up. Let me open up Sublime, uh, which is my text editor, and I'm just gonna write, hello there, and uh, save this in applications, find MAMP, and htdocs. So make sure you save it in that, that location. I'm just gonna save it as index.html, and when I hit save and I come back over to my local host and hit refresh, you can see the text, hello there, now shows up. Now, I know that this is not a valid HTML document, but the text shows up in the browser anyway, because the browser kind of knows how or what to expect, seeing as it is an HTML document. And we're gonna be taking a look at how to code and how to make websites using MAMP in future tutorials. So I'll see you guys next time. If you liked that video, there are a bunch of things that you can do to help. First of all, don't forget to subscribe, watch another one of my videos, follow me on social media, and if you wanna support the channel financially, you can also become a patron. Becoming a patron means that you're gonna choose to help me pay for some of the equipment and the software that I use to make these videos, and also, hopefully, help me finish my degree. So go ahead and click on something and I'll see you guys next time.